Crew with the Boulder Man here. Guys, we're here in Boulder, New York, in the Boulder Room, guys. So right now, you guys can see we're on a Navy Boulder, an NCV 240E. Let's take a look right here. This is right there, NCV 240E. And what we're changing today is actually a circulatory pump. So first things first, guys, whenever you're changing the circulatory pump, you guys gotta drain it out. First time I always tell you guys, like I always tell you guys on my old, all, in all my videos, is shut the power off. So we shut the power off, we're draining her out, we let the water come out. Because if you not, if you're working on this unit and you take out the pump, you're gonna have a shitload of water over you. But not only that it's hot, but you're taking a chance if you damage something, you don't want to do it. So right now we're draining her out. I personally like to shut off the manifold here on the supply and the return on the heating side. So make sure that's cool and just drain out all the water. As you can see, it's almost drained out. We have about a half a bucket of water. So just let it drain out. Give me a few more minutes. It'll be completely drained. Once you do that, we're able to take out the circular pump. So that's step number one. So I'm gonna show you guys in this video how to do the, the presentation of the circular pump. So first things first, power, drain the water, and then we're gonna turn this connected to control and get access to the actual circular pump. Stay tuned, guys. Okay guys, so just so you guys can see, you have to take out the screw on the bottom of the actual pump. There's a screw that's holding the pump in place. So whenever you change another pump, you have to take that out because even if you disconnect the actual clip from the top right or the top of the circular pump, it's not gonna come out. So you have to remove that screw on the bottom of the, of the housing. a circular pump on an Avian boiler. The specific model is 240, oh, I'm sorry, the NCV240E. You need to replace the gasket. There's two gaskets you guys have to replace. There's one here and there's one on the top. So these are the part numbers right here. So you call them old range of gaskets. So one of the part number is 200-309-919A. That's the old range. And then you have another one here, as you can see right there. Model number is 200 352-277-A is an apple. So guys, it's very important because if you do not replace these gaskets, you will have a water leak. I mean, if worst case, worst case scenario, you guys have to use the salvage or old one because you don't have one, I would advise you guys to make sure you guys use plumber's grease and make sure you have good lubricant because if you rip that gasket, you're gonna have issues. All right guys, with that being said, we'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, DM and smash that like button and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Weba. Alright guys, so again, whenever you're changing a circulatory pump, there's only really three things that's holding this in place. There's one screw in the bottom, on the bottom of the chassis, which it says on the housing. You also, there's a lock nut right here, which connects right here to the bottom of this heat exchanger. Alright, and all uh, oh, there should say to this valve. And then the other one is this little clip right here. I don't know if you guys can see this little clip right here. So whenever you're changing the circulatory pump, you gotta pull this clip up to the right. Unscrew this and then screw the, the screw on the bottom that's holding to the chassis of the actual circular pump And that's all she wrote. Once you move this, push it to the side and you pull it right out, punch right out. 